We all deserve to live in neighborhoods that are clean and safe. That's why it's important for us to take code enforcement seriously. I looked into the city codes in Fayetteville in this week's You Ask, We Investigate report. Code enforcement is a serious responsibility for a city. It's really about just creating good neighborhoods that people uh, feel comfortable living in, they feel safe in. Andrew Garner is the city planning director in Fayetteville. He says codes deal with a number of things like over occupancy, old cars, and piles of junk in a yard. Here are a few city codes you wanted to know about. When it comes to the number of people who can live in a home, there is no limit if you are all related. That changes when you live with roommates. Well, if you're in a single family district, you can only have three unrelated people. If you're in a multifamily district, you can have up to four unrelated people. Another big code in the city, cars. You're allowed to have four cars parked outside the house and they have to be parked in an actual parking area. They can't just be parked in the yard. And when it comes to cars that do not operate. They can be kept in a garage for somebody to work on, but they can't just be stored permanently out in the front yard. Fayetteville has a complaint-based enforcement program, meaning if you see an issue, you need to report it. If people call in, we'll go and investigate. Garner says have patience. Proving certain violations, such as over-occupancy, can take time. I also took a look at codes for housing and cars in other cities in northwest Arkansas. In Springdale, the number of people allowed in a home depends on the square footage of the place. There is no limit on the number of vehicles parked at a home as long as they are parked legally and are operable. In Rogers, the number of people allowed in a home is determined by the square footage. As far as cars go, they are not allowed to be parked in the front yard. They can be parked on the side or back of a property as long as they operate. And in Bentonville, up to four unrelated people can live in a home together. There is no limit for people who are related. There is also no limit on the number of cars on a property. However, they must be licensed and operable. If there's something in your community that you want to know more about, we want to investigate it. Send your questions to me at the email address on your screen or on social media and watch KNWA every Wednesday to see my You Ask, We Investigate report.